What's up, Virgo? This is Soul. And Virgo, we're going to take a look at some energy for you this upcoming week, uh, starting October 19th and ending October 25th, 2020. The messages will be for Virgo's, yeah, Virgo sun, Virgo moon, and Virgo rising signs. Virgo, I hope all is well. Please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy this week's reading. All right, Virgo, you're the last on the list. Okay, energies for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. As I stated before, uh, starting October 19th and ending October 25th, 2020. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. With Virgo, I'm using the Everyday Enchantment uh, Tarot deck. I think this is going to be my go-to tarot deck for these uh, weekly readings, but we'll see. Okay, I'm picking up a lot of energies from these cards, uh, and I love that. <clears throat> and they're speaking volumes for me. So let's see. All cards are in the upright position. And, you know, we always start off with the shadow energy, right, Virgo? So without further ado, let me give it another good shuffle here, and then we're going to begin. And keep in mind, this is just all potential energies. You know, I always tell you guys to take out what you can and leave the rest alone. Uh, <clears throat> I think... Uh, Quite a few take my readings a little bit too serious and, and they miss the point. Okay, so shadow card energy here for you, Virgo. Uh, we're going to begin. Uh, looks like a major arcana. Oh, we just had the magician for um, Leo. That was their opening. So now you have it at the shadow side. So I'm not. And what I've done, in all fairness to you, is I, you know, set in Leo's reading. In order uh, for me to, you know, dive into these uh, energies here, because I'm using a different deck in which I like to use different decks. And, you know, in previous decks, I always talk about there's two aspects or two sides of the magician. Now, I don't always pull that energy in, um, you know, but here I can't really use the negative side here because it's not what I'm feeling intuitively to uh, put out there. So just on the aspect of the magician in itself is a card of manifestation. Normally the card of manifestation, meaning that you have everything at your disposal, uh, Virgo, to achieve or you know obtain the things that you want to bring into your life. Whether it's a new job, new relationship, um, whether it's a child, there's, there's a child here. Um, you know, whether you want to plant a garden because he is digging. Uh, the ground up and it looks like he's in a bed of flowers. Even the sunflowers here are very, very positive. The yes on the um, building back here, graffiti on the building, that could be the yes answer to uh, a question that you may have or achieving whatever it is that you want to manifest and bring it into your life. So that's very favorable. So I won't read the uh, whole aspect of, you know, as before of the manipulation and uh, being, um, you know, deceivious and uh, sociopathic, narcissistic. Not in this case. I'm not pulling in that energy in this particular case. So this is, and then we have the bird here. You know, animals are dominant in these cards. Uh, so the bird is, you know, as I picked up in Leo, um, I think it was the bird on the Ace of Coins where I see birds are, you know, communicators. So this could be the bird landing here and, he, you know, trying to communicate uh, something important. So that could be news on the way, something positive that's on its way in terms of communication, something that you were waiting to hear. So I'll read it just like that. Also, the good aspect of the magician being a major arcana, and I'm reading it very positively for you, uh, Virgo. Uh, anything else that you may receive here that is, you know, quote unquote negative, it, the magician still would dim down the energies of that um, negativity. Okay. All right. So let's read your cards here. Your energy, the four of uh, pentacles, that too has been shown up here quite a bit. King of cups. Ace of Pentacles I just talked about in Leo's video. And there's the bird right there, communicator. So there's some sort of news coming in um, for some Virgos out there related to finances. Or it could be a call that comes in about work in itself. It could be that you receive a call to, you know, um, come in to interview for a job. Maybe that uh, communication, if you're already working about possibly a promotion that you're being promoted and moved up, uh, anything that's going on. 
like positive here, but I'll talk about it a little bit more. And see, I love the elements to dominate uh, the sign that I'm reading for. And there's nothing but these pentacles showing up here for you guys. The Knight of Pentacles. And guess what? We have the Page of Pentacles. And you see me shuffle these cards, right? The Page of Pentacles is all about money for you guys. The Seven of Pentacles. Wow. And then the Two of Pentacles follows the um, Seven of Pentacles. And then what finishes you off is the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Is that unreal or what? This You have no other energies but the emotions which is a good card here do i even have to continue to read these messages here because all this is good energy but let me give you my best all right since i like to talk anyway single this could be a single father since you have the children here you have a, a pet doesn't necessarily mean so he's the nurturer he's the caretaker he's the supportive person um you know this is a relationship card I love you, Dad Cup, coffee cup in his hand, planter in his other hand. It looks like he was painting something. He has the paint on his shirt, brushes in his pocket. The kids are enamored. You know, they, they love their father, even the dog. This could represent your parents, older grandparents as well. Single mother in exchange of energy. This could be a single mother raising two kids and they got a pet. But it's all about that love. It's about happiness, uh, emotional uh, satisfaction, contentment, and joy. Because you're surrounded by those people that you love and they love you. Okay? Pay attention to your intuition. For the most part, I think for some of you, it's going to be very important because the dominance here of your energy is work and finances. So let's move along. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces represents that. Uh, King of Cups. And did I just bypass the Four of Pentacles? I think I did because I got over, overly excited about all of the Pentacles that were showing up for your energies. Again, he's a little boy here on the beach building a sandcastle. Of, obviously, he's been digging and what he's found was a small amount of money. So you could be, you know, that Virgo who, um, what I said in another video is that you might find some money that you, you know, forgot about where it was and then you stumble across it. It could be, you know, cleaning up something or you just remember where, you know, you put some money and it's rediscovered. Or you could be out and about. You don't necessarily have to be on the beach to find this money. You could be somewhere out and about. Now, this is coins, but it could be bills, a small amount of bills, or it could be one bill. Money coming towards you in the form of bonuses, pay raises. And I'd say it's small because he doesn't really have a happy face here. <laughs> okay, it's like, oh, look what I found. Okay, but not enough. Four of Pentacles could be um, also the type of energy where you're saving up for something better you have the family back here in the background with the dog um so it's a beach uh scenery the seagull is here the crab is here so i don't know if oh now wait a minute we're in october here somebody could be still going to the beach someone could be owning a beach home or a beach resort or something um, traveling to a beach or an area that has a beachy area. So that could be casinos. With all of this money here, yeah, somebody might be going to the casinos, uh, possibly in Atlantic City, New Jersey, in this area near me. That could be a possibility. All right, so I talked about the King of Cups. That's crossing your immediate environment. I pay attention to the first two cards here because it gives me an indication of how your week is going to uh, possibly unfold for you, but it's not always something that's set or written in stone. Okay. So, but this, just think of these two cards here. You have the love, you have the money, the love of money, but not in a bad way, in a good way. This also too, with the children here, it could be almost anything referencing child support, giving money to your children giving money or helping out with your uh, elderly parents, caring for those children, caring for those parents. 
could be the animals that you're caring for as well. I picked up where uh, someone could be, um, you know, spending money on uh, getting their dog groomed, dog grooming or something like that. Starting a new job with the Ace of Pentacles. The bird comes in. News coming in. That phone call that I just mentioned. Uh, some form of communication of letting you know that, you know, we're calling you to set up an interview. It could be done virtually still. You know, with COVID-19 that's going on. Or it could be in person. The Aces always start something new. So this could be building... Um, you know, like a business or running a business. Um, there's no set point when it comes to the money because the aces are always, you know, indefinite here. So it could be any amount of money being received. But I feel that the bird here is the, um, the key. The bird is communicating. That would be also social networking as well. Birds always communicate. Always talking, always chattering, and landed right here on this worker's um, work bucket. The money is there. So that's news on the way financially for somebody in a good way. Money being received. Ain't nothing but money up in this uh, reading here for you, uh, Virgo. The Knight of Coins. This is a court card. He's washing the car. The girl's in the background laughing. Um, he doesn't look too happy, but I don't think that it's because maybe the coin, maybe she only paid him a coin or if it's her car and this is what she tipped him for or whatnot. But this is somebody that you can depend on. This could be your own attributes that someone can depend on you. You're reliable. You're still, you know, careless and, um, you know, with money could be a spendthrift, you know, the value or hold the value of money. So you're not careless with that. And then you just have the players in the background doing their own thing. Someone is popping a willy on a bike. Someone is skateboarding. Uh, someone is drinking a glass of whatever. And then the girl um, is watching him wash or wax the car. So this could be connected to um, a business partnership. Since this is uh, following the Ace of Coins for somebody out there, forming a business partnership. Definitely, because now, along with that Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is here. That's the, <laughs> that's the new job, the starting of the new business. Pages could also represent, you know, still in this case, the birth of a child. The hand, if you can see it, is full of money giving it to um, this person here. Now, he might be walking the person's dog. So, you know, it could be somebody who just paid to walk someone's dogs. Because I know up in New York, they have a lot of that, uh, uh, that energy. There's, there's people who walk uh, other people's dogs and get, um, you know, paid substantially for doing so. But it's about something new coming in, work-related, business-related. The homes are in the background, so it could be someone purchasing a, a home. Someone could be moving into a different area, relocating. I don't need just one specific card to give me that information. I'm looking at these cards here, and it's telling me that. So money is coming in. Money is the dominant theme and energy for you guys this upcoming week seven of coins you got choices now that page of coins well ain't nothing but coins here so um do i need to keep saying taurus capricorn and virgo that's what it is you ain't got nothing but coins up in here and then you got water energy cancer scorpio and pisces for the king of cups so there's choices to be made or someone you are just focused on your work or the details of your work She's standing there with her, uh, you know, hand up to her chin. She's pondering because now she may have been presented with a couple of choices or options. The hand coming in again with money. 
So either she's the business owner and she's, you know, selling something and someone's handing her money and then she might be just uh, pondering about something else, taking her mind off of her business uh, for a hot second. She might be thinking in terms of um, what more she could do for her business in terms of expanding. The dog is here as a friend to help out. Excuse me, but money is everywhere here for you guys. Wow. Then the two of coins is the juggling thing. Juggling two jobs. Um, it could be just, the you know, two situations. But it's on a minor scale. Nothing that you won't be able to handle. Uh, I do feel that whatever it is that you're juggling, you're in demand. Because you have the people who are in the restaurant uh, vying for your attention. But you got your hands full, so it could be that type of energy as well. I'm trying to do a balancing act. Last card for you, Virgo, is the Eight of Pentacles. And that definitely tops it off as well because the Eight of Pentacles is the balancing type of energy. And you can look at the money right here. Focused on their work, paying attention as long, you know, as well. Uh, to the details of their work, they're happy about their work. The balancing type of energy could be expanded into almost any area of your life, including your relationships. This is still that promotion, that job, that pay raise. Financial security. Financial security will come through the Ace of Coins as well as the Eight of Coins. And also the um, page of coins, because that would be building up financial security, starting financial security in terms of savings and whatnot. But they're happy here, okay? They're happy in their work, the line of work that they chose to do. Even if they are laborers, it doesn't matter. But they're happy, they're content, okay? So that's you. Wow, isn't that something? Straight pentacles showed up for Virgo. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Straight and to the point, okay? So your money or your focus should be on money and work. Money coming in and feeling good about that energy with the uh, King of Cups crossing your immediate environment. All right, so Virgo, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, I encourage you to do it uh, safely. Please stay strong, stay positive. Also, please wear those masks. Um, continue to wear your mask. Wash your hands. Uh, they're talking about the uptick of COVID-19 in 38 states, so this must be the second wave. It's always been serious. It's never been a hoax. And I don't understand how people could call 200 and 18,000 people dead, a hoax. I'm, I don't get it. That is just beyond my uh, comprehension here. So um, I just wanted to say that. And then my other little PSA is that if you are a Virgo in the um, United States, you're a resident and you're uh, able to vote, I hope you're registered to vote. Please exercise your voice to be heard uh, on November 3rd at the polls. Play a part in your democracy. Okay, it's very important. With that being said, I'm going to leave you with uh, a bunch of love and light. And uh, Virgo, I will talk to you next week. Bye.